your smart TV is watching and listening to you. In fact, they're also collecting data on everything that you do and your info is currently being sold. This isn't done by some hoodie wearing hacker, but by your TV manufacturer and your streaming service provider. So today, I'm going to show you how you can take back control and stop that from happening. Okay, let's do this. Break it down now, phone, gadget, apps, insta, techie, techie, yeah, yeah. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadget, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So smart TV are smart as they obviously connect to the internet. They run operating systems so that you can install apps like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu and loads of others. You can interact with your TV via voice which means it has a mic built into it. Some TVs can be operating by waving your hands which means it has a webcam built into it. So those hoodie wearing hacker stuff that you see on TV where they remotely switch on your camera and your microphone and listen to you that isn't so far-fetched anymore. Anyone got an antivirus or a firewall installed on your TV? Yeah, I didn't think so. But let's forget the hackers for a moment. Right now, your TV manufacturer and legitimate streaming services like Netflix, Hulu and others are actively collecting data on you and they are selling that information. These services are using something called ACR, which stands for Automatic Content Recognition. This tech is used to collect data about what you watch, how you watch it, what you search for, what you like, what you don't like, and many, many more data points. This well-meaning tech is supposed to be used to recommend shows that you would want to watch, but this info is also shared with business partners, well, so they could serve you and your family with more targeted ads. Now, there are two places you need to turn this off. One is on the TV itself, so that your manufacturer can stop selling your information. And the other is on the streaming services. I'm going to show you both. Right, let's start with the TV. Ideally, you want to reset to factory default. And yes, I know it's a pain to set everything up again, but at least this time, you're actually going to read the screen and see what you're agreeing to. They have to ask your permission to collect the information, so don't just race through the setup process and just agree to everything. Now, if you're really not in the mood to do all of this all over again, then depending on your TV, the ACR option is buried deep inside the menu structure. Typically, it's under settings, privacy, or terms and policies, and then you can select or unselect the advertising options there. Now, if you can't find where it is in your options, simply do a Google search for your TV's make and model number or just call their customer support and they will take you through the process to disable this. Now, if your TV has one of those webcams that you can wave your hands and control the TV and you actually don't use that functionality, uh, good old tape over the camera seems to work pretty darn well. Now that we've taken care of the ACR from our TV manufacturer, let's move on to the various streaming services. Again, each one of these services hides this information somewhere in their system. I am going to show you where some of the more popular services hide their settings, so follow along with me. Okay, let's start off with Netflix. So go into your Netflix.com on the top right hand side, click on your profile picture and then click on accounts and then scroll down until you see viewing activity. Then click on view here you'll see everything you've ever watched on netflix and there's a little circle on the far right which allows you to hide viewing history if you want to hide absolutely everything go down to the bottom and click on hide all now whilst we're still in the netflix account click on download your personal information follow the process and you can see all the information that netflix has actually gathered on you right amazon prime viewers this one is for you so two steps here Click on your account and then go down to browsing history. This is going to show you everything that you've actually searched for and looked up in your previous history on Amazon. What you can do is click on manage history and this time turn off the browsing history. But remember, this is only going to hide it for you. Amazon will still have access to that. So just an FYI. Then next thing to do is go into your account. This time click on your account itself. Scroll down right to the bottom where you see communication and content. This time click on advertising preferences. When you click on that, now you have the option to opt out of interest based ads. 
So you're gonna click on do not show me interest-based ads provided by Amazon and then click on submit. Okay, Hulu users, log into your Hulu.com account and click on California Privacy Rights. Click on that. And here you have the option to opt out of the watch history. Now, taking this action will affect our ability to make content recommendation based on what you previously watched. If you don't want them to make that clear selected. On the left hand side, California Privacy Rights says that you have the right to know. If you want to see what information they're gathered on you, simply follow that process. And now you have the right to opt out and they actually say that out, opt out of the sale of your personal information. Click on change status and it will give you a little bit of blurb of what this actually is and why you should and shouldn't opt out and what kind of information. And then again, you have the option to opt out. So if you care about your privacy and your information, opt out of that. You also have the right to delete. Now you have to write to request that we delete personal information that we collect and maintain about you. Back on the main page, go down to the bottom and manage Nielsen measurement. Now you get a whole splurb about what Nielsen measurement actually is, but essentially it's the ability for them to track the performance of their campaign viewed by our registered users. If you don't want to wish to participate, well, you have the option to opt out of that as well. So since you made it this far, if you want to see more security related videos on this channel, let me know in the comment by putting a secret code word, FINN, F-I-N-N, -N, along with any other message you want me to read. Let's see how we confuse new people to wonder what on earth is going on here. And as always, I appreciate you guys from watching. Check out more tips and tricks down here in these videos. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Hit the video a thumbs up if you like what you see and I'll see you in those videos. Don't forget the secret code word.